Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I have this old, well, it's not too old, but it's an Echo Park magazine, and it's just, you know, where I can order the different things out of here, but I don't use these magazines very often, even though they send me one about every other month. I just go on their website when I want to order and order from there. So I thought I, what I would do, I tore off the front page and I'm going to use it for something else because it's a little bit thicker. But I'm going to make some collage master boards on, in here and I'm going to use up my scraps. Now I saw Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah do these and I thought what a great idea. Then you have all of this in one place and when you get ready for tags and pockets and things like that or journaling cards, you can just cut these up and back them on the back if you need to. And you've got tags and pockets and journaling cards and things like that. But you're keeping them all in one spot and you're using up your scraps. So fantastic idea, Tina, or whoever thought about this in the first place. So we're just going to go through and I'm going to do the second page. Now, I've already laid some things down here. I think I've already glued that one. And I'm just going to pull, I'm just pulling my scraps is all I'm doing. And I'm cutting these. You could always tear them if you want to. But I'm just going to cut them. And uh, evidently not even too straight. Uh, you could tear it. You can ink it. You could do lots of different things. I'm just going to cut mine. And if I need to, I will lap them over just a little bit. And I'm going to use my gl favorite glue stick. This is from Pioneer. And I have used lots of different glue sticks lately. To me, this one just works the best. I keep going back to it. Even after I try all different kinds, I go back to this one. So I'm just going to glue this on here. And I'm just putting my glue down on there. And I'll just glue that right at the edge. And if there's any hanging over, I can just trim that off or I can leave it and then trim it up when I start to create my tags and things from it. This piece, I think I'm going to put over here. These are so quick and easy. And why in the world would I not have thought about this years ago? Instead of keeping all my scraps just over in a little pile and trying to figure out what I'm going to do with them, I'll just put them in here, and then when I get ready for tags and things for my journals, I can just cut them up. Now, if you want to do a particular page for a particular um, season, like this one, I'm going to use this one in my Christmas at journals because I put some Christmas paper on here. But you don't have to do that. You can do them for different occasions, or you can just do them just at random. It doesn't matter. So we are just going to put all this down. If Echo Park sees me doing this, they'll probably quit sending me these magazines. <laughs> Knowing that I use them for this. But, you know, I order from them, but I order off offline. I don't go buy a magazine. I'm not too much into magazines anymore since, you know, everything's online now. And first, you, you know, you put down your large pieces. And then you can always come back, if you don't like the looks of something, you can always come back and fill in. Put some little small pieces here and there. And that will make it look better. So we're just going to glue, glue, glue. And like I said, I'm going to use this book for this. This is going to be the only thing that this magazine is going to be used for. It's just to make my collage pages. Now, I don't particularly want that there, so I think I'll flip that over and maybe put that like that. And you can even go back on top of these if you want them to be a little bit better glued down. If you don't get something glued exactly right, you can go back on top of this with a um, layer of collage podge and glue everything down well. But I plan, when I cut these out, I will probably go around them and stitch anyway. So I'm not going to worry about that part. I just think it's a very great idea. And like I said, why on earth did I not think about this a long time ago? 
Now I want to kind of break this page up a little bit because that's kind of busy there. And I just want to put a couple of little things in there. So I'm just going to see how I can break it up to make it look a little bit better. I think I'll put that there and that'll break that top part up. And you can always put your glue on the piece. I'm just, um, I just don't want to drag out anything to glue on right now. So I'm just putting my glue straight down on here. Always go back in any little areas that you might have um, that need a little bit more glue. You can always go back and do that. Okay, let's see if we want to put any small pieces down anywhere. I don't think I'll use that one. Let's see. What else do we have here? Hmm. I think I might put that right across there. That'll kind of break that up. And then just depending on which way I cut when I do the tags and pockets and things like that will depend on what all shows and you can always if after you cut everything if you see that you don't have enough of some color showing that you'd like a little bit more of you can always add a little bit more pieces onto that after you get it cut i think that's a great idea too let's see i'm just digging through my little scraps over here to see what else i might have might want to break something else up a little bit I think I'll put some smaller pieces on here and there. There's a little piece that would look cute. I might just break that up by putting that little piece there. And remember, when you're making these collage master boards, there is no right and no wrong way to do this. You just Put your pieces down. No right and no wrong. You just keep adding until you like the looks of it. Now let's see what else I might want to put. I kind of like that now. I like that. I don't know why I feel like I need to break that up. But I might. I probably don't. But I feel like I do. Um, I'm looking in the screen. See what I did over here. I put some little pieces here and there. So I may just tear a few little pieces and put them around. Okay, I'm just going to put that down there. <clears throat> okay, then, see what else we might have here. Let's trim that off right there. And let's just bring that across like that. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, I'm going to trim this a little bit off right here. If I can. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah. And you could always bring in some book pages and music page pieces and things like that. That would uh, balance it out a little bit more if you wanted to. I'm just going to, I'm trying right now to just pull my little scraps and use those up. Okay, 
Okay, I kind of like how that one looks. I love how that one looks, so let's go to one more. So on the back of this one, of course, we would have to put some papers down, but that's fine. Let's go on to, we'd have to put a, a solid paper down in order to be able to collage. So let's do a piece of this. This is already kind of collaged, but then we can use that on there and then pull some different things in. So let's put this big piece down. So I haven't really found anything else that I want to use this on. So I think using it for something like this would work great. Okay. Oh yeah, that already looks good just like that, doesn't it? All right, let's see what else we have here. Lots more scraps. And I think I'll put that one sideways like that. And I'm just gonna let it fold over that other one. Or lap over it. Lap. Is that the word, lap? I guess. That's what I say anyway. All right, put that one there. Then what do we have? I have a piece of this still left. Let's cut that little code, bar code or whatever that is off of there. That kind of goes really good with that. But I think I want to turn it that way. So let's put that one down. That fits perfect right there. Then what else? I'm gonna dig through my little little scraps over here. I have this flower that's just kind of floating around over here. Let's see if we can put that somewhere. And I'll need to run a little piece down through there. Alright, let me lay that there and see what else I have that might fill in this little gap right here. That would fill that in. And then we've got this little piece that we can trim off the edge of. And that can go right there. And then we just need a little piece right there. So let's see what we have. I just have a little pile of scraps right here to the right or to the left. This is my left. Uh, you know, I don't know my right from my left. I have that disease, whatever it is, <laughs> that I can't tell my right from my left half the time. My husband gets so tickled at me because I'll say, that's over there to the right. And he'll say, which one of your rights? Oh, I know there's, it's a syndrome of some kind. I know a lot of people have it, but I have so much trouble. I'll say to the right when I know it's this way, but I'll always say to the right. I'm just, I'm terrible. Okay, I'm going to find something to glue on because I'm getting, I'm getting a, in a glue mess here. So let's. Now, I like this glue stick so well that I did add them to our shop. Like I said, I've tried lots of different brands. I tried a, a lot of brands that people had suggested, and I just didn't like them. I just, they either didn't glue well enough, or they didn't hold good enough, or they left the page gummy. <clears throat> so, I have used this one for years, and I just like it. I keep going, I kept going back to it over and over again. And Pioneer is a really good company anyway, so I just decided to go back to using that one, and I just went ahead and added a few in the shop. If anybody else wants to try them, they're very inexpensive, but they're a good glue. I've not had any problems with them turning loose on my collection so far. Okay. Let's put this down right there. Let's get some glue on here. 
There we go. And you know I'm not a big glue stick fan, so for me to say that that's a good glue, yeah, that's <laughs> that takes a lot for me to say that's a good glue. Okay, we're going to chop this off right there. And then I am just going to put a little bit of glue right down through here and glue that down. There we go. Okay. And do we need to break anything up anywhere that you can see? Let's see. Hmm. I might put this little piece of blue right here and it'll just kind of bring the blue from here to here. And this was actually the front cover of um, a Bow Bunny paper pack that I just kept because it was so pretty. I didn't want to throw it away. So I kept it and then I saw it in my scraps the other day and I thought that would be fantastic for a collage page. There we go. So what else do we see? Does that look good enough to you? Like I said, you can always go back in and add book page, pieces of book pages. You can even add material, lace, trims. You know, you could put some lace and stuff down on here. What I'm going to do about the lace is I'm going to wait until I cut my tags and pockets and things out. And then I will add lace and trims and things like that on. So... I'm thinking that might be that good for that one. I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Now, I meant to tell you, don't put your pieces too close to your little fold here. Because if you do, it will probably glue everything together. Alright, I'm going to use some book pages on this one. And I'm going to use some very old book pages. The kind that... <clears throat> the kind of book pages that are kind of brittle and they're not really good to use in your journals. So that's what I'm going to use on here, I do believe. Sorry about all the rattling and crinkling I got going on here. Okay. So we have... Woo, these things are really, really loud today. I have some of that. I have some old music page that someone sent me. They had dyed a little bit of it. So we're going to use some of that on this page. And this is still very strong with coffee smell, I think. Whew, it's very strong. <laughs> So I'm just going to cut that at close to the right angle. Turn our little page over here. And this is just a scrap notebook that I glue on. I don't like to waste my book pages by using them for glue pages because I don't have that many book pages. So I had rather use my book pages or things like this. Now, this page, of course, we're going to have to use something that is pretty thick because um, this is pretty bright and it's going to show through if we don't. So you can't put vellum or anything like that down on it. Let's see. We'll put that right there. All right. And then we'll bring in some different papers. Let's see what we have here. We might just use this one mainly for Christmas. Let's see if we have enough Christmas scraps left right here. 
Well, I don't have enough Christmas right here with me, but I do have enough fall. So we'll just make this page into a fall page. That will work well. So we'll put this down. Right there, maybe. Okay. Okay, just drug out some more of the fall. That will go right there real well. Put some pumpkins down there. Oh yeah, I like that there, turn that way. We'll need to put a little piece right there of something. So we'll figure that out in a second or two. And I think I would like this up here, like that. Let me lay a couple of pieces down here and see what I've got. Uh, not that one. We could do that there and just trim it off. Oh, I think I like that there. And then we'll just trim it about right there. And as I said, you could always tear these. You don't have to use the cutting, but you can always tear them to the size that you want. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna glue those down. So if your kids have old um, spiral notebooks and things left over from school, Grab those. They're really good to use as glue, glue pages. And I'm so heavy handed on my glue. And you guys know that I, I glue like there's no tomorrow. I glue like there's never going to be any more glue. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, me. But my items stay down well. I don't have any problem with them coming up. That's what we want, isn't it? Okay, let's trim this piece off so we can see what we have. Let's see, I think I can, maybe I can do it this way. There we go. All right, I need a little piece of something right here and a little piece right here. And I think I'll use that across there. Cute. So 
so you can have a sheet of these or two sheets of these for every occasion and that be pretty no that doesn't need don't need that there let's see let's break these pumpkins up a little bit maybe let's just put that piece across there And I think I'm just going to run it all the way. I'm not going to worry about cutting it off. I'm just going to run it over there. And let's see. A little piece for that. I know what I will use. This little barcode or bar strip here that's on these, it has that little piece there that you can use. So instead of cutting that off and throwing it away, I'll use it right there. I think. It'll kind of bring those pumpkins over this way. Yeah, I'm going to glue it down there just a little strip so it's not a biggie and I'm just going to keep the ends uneven here we'll clip this off and what else let's see we need a little piece down through there but I don't want to use the pumpkin again Gonna see what I have as far as scraps are concerned. Little bitty scraps. Um, we could always use a piece of that. We haven't used that on there yet, so let's just do that. There we go. All right. Uh, Got to glue that a little more. Come on now. And as far as gluing this cardstock paper, I could glue that with my art glitter glue if I wanted to. You don't have to use a glue stick because this is thick and nothing's going to show through. I'm just doing the glue stick because it's a little faster on this. All right. Uh, I feel like everything's running in one direction, so I'd like to put something here that would kind of break that up. But I'm not sure what I would want to do. Um, let's just come back with, let's grab a little piece of book page, just a little torn piece. This is very brittle, so I think it will work well on things like this. I'm going to lay them on here and then I'll look at it and see what I think it looks like. Okay, let's see. I feel like I need something right here to break that up. Got big pieces across here, so let's grab a little piece of this. Okay. All right, let's glue those down. I think that will break up all of the big pieces that we have and then we can, you can always go back and add more um you can always go back and add more glue pieces and extra little scraps and things when you cut these up this is just getting things down there 
getting our start and using these scraps, putting them all in one place so that they can be used productively. Making some master boards. I like that. It's almost like making a glue book. You could use something like this for a glue book. That doesn't want to glue at all. All right, I'm going to use my card to see if I can smooth some of these out a little bit. Okay, I'm looking in the, I have a computer right here in front of me, so I, I can see what I'm filming, so I'm, I look in there a lot just to see what it looks like, because I can tell more about looking in there than I can looking at it from an angle. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that one for now, and we will go on to another page. Now, do I have enough fall to do one more page? If I do, I'll do that. I think I do. There is lots of those. I love this fall is in the air. I may just use that on there somewhere. Um, oh yeah, I have enough fall to do one more page. And then we will start doing some different, maybe some Christmas. Christmas pages. I think I have enough scraps to do some Christmas pages. Very, very cute. Okay, I think I'm going to cut this one up. Use it in a couple of different places. Maybe there, and maybe, hmm, I don't know, maybe there. We'll see. And then this one, hmm, I don't know. Let me look at that one for a while. I use this one across here. And this is not that I'm dedicating a whole book to fall, because I'm really not. I'm not making just a particular fall journal, but I could um, always use these in different journals because of the colors. I mean, you know, you can put these colors with just about anything. Okay, I think we'll do that. I think most of these pages are going to be similar. All right, we need a little piece of that down here somewhere, right there maybe. And maybe the little fox somewhere. Hmm, I may put that there, that up there. And then bring these little fox across here. Or maybe right there. I don't want to put them on that side because I've got the leaves there. So maybe a little piece right there. So we'll trim that off. That there. And... Hmm... From this piece off. Okay, so we've almost, almost, almost got all of our little scraps used up. And these scraps are left over from our classes, our virtual retreat classes. So let's put that there, and what else? 
Mm -hmm. I need one more little piece right down here, and I think I'm just going to use the edge, a piece of this. I started calling it the edge of this, but that's not the edge. That's just a piece. Put that right there, I think. Okay, so let's glue. Let's glue some things down. I think I'm going to put it this way. That across there. Let's bring this little piece. Maybe like that. I might trim this off just a tiny bit more. one here like that okay then we have this one over here maybe yeah I'll put it here I think I was going to run that right there. So I'm going to put some glue on this since it's going to lap over a couple of different places. Oops. Don't move it. You could also use, with this thicker paper, you could use the um, PVA glue to put it down. That would work. And then I'm going to trim that little piece off right there. And we'll put this piece down. I think fall colors are so, so pretty. But I'm not a fall person. I really don't care for fall that much. But I love the colors in fall. They're absolutely beautiful. That right there now we need to I want to break up a few pieces that are just huge let's see I might put let's just grab a book page see what we got in there maybe that across there Let's, what else do we see Okay, let's glue these pieces down and then we can kind of tell what's going on. And no two people do their collaging the same way. So, you know, like I said, there's no right, no wrong way to do this. It's just what you like. What looks good to you. And even if it doesn't look that well in a collage like this, once you get this cut up into tags and pockets and things like that you would be surprised how good it looks okay let's see what else I do want something else I can tell what about some brown paper bag. Just put a piece somewhere. Mm, 
Let's see. Um, I don't know. Nope, I think I do want some brown paper bag over here for some reason. I don't know why, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. You know, you can always cover these up too if it doesn't look good. If you find something that you just don't particularly care for when you start to cut your little pieces up and your journaling cards and things like that, and you don't particularly like something, just cover it. Cover it up with something. That's all you have to do. I mean, this is getting tons and tons of scraps off of my desk. So I'm all for that. And it's putting them all in one place so that I can have access to them when I need it. Okay. I think I'm going to glue that right there because I don't really like how that edge is coming together there. So I'm just going to glue that piece down. This is just a little piece of book page I had laying over on my desk. Put that down right there. What else do we have? Let me just look. More scraps over here. Um, there's another little piece of brown paper. Let's put that down right there at the top. And this is just from a paper bag. Oh, there's everything sticking to my fingers now. There we go. Press it down like that. Okay, I think that's all on the brown paper bag. And I can come back in and stamp on this bag too if I want to. Put some different stamps on there. That would look cute. What might we do with that? Do we like the looks of that there? Or do we like the looks of that there? Hmm. I think I like the looks of it right there. So let's put it down up there. This is just another little scrap where I had some, uh, I had done some stitching on the brown paper bag. All right, I'm going to trim off the edges, and that will help us tell more about what this page is going to look like. There. Hopefully, I won't cut the computer off. Trim that off like that. And do a little bit of trimming on the top right here. There we go. Now we should be able to tell. A little bit more about this that one to me looks more wild than most <laughs> uh, but I think once we get it cut up and we can all like I said we can always add some different things to it I think we'll be good but let's go ahead 
I have this little piece of vellum here that is from the Tim Holtz pack. And I just feel like I need some of this brightness covered a little bit. I may not, not need that, but I feel like I do. So what about if we put that there? It just kind of toned that down just a tiny bit. And let's see what else I might have under here. Here's a piece of a fall looking flower. I don't know if that would look okay on there or not. Let's just kind of do some quick trimming and see. And you know, keep in mind too that you're going to add your focal points on your cards and things when you get everything ready to make your tags and pockets. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, I kind of like that right there. Even though it may get cut, and I don't think it will, but depending on how I cut it, it may get cut a little bit, but I kind of like it right there. It gives a little bit more character to that page. So let's go ahead and glue that down right there. Kind of brings all these elements more together than they were. Okay. And then let me see which side is the front on this. That way. And I do think I'm going to glue that right there. And I don't, I think maybe glue stick will work. Let's just see. Yeah, it does. if I can do any more damage to this page or not. All right, I think that's going to do it for this page. And then, like I said, once we start trimming everything out for our journals and tags and that kind of thing. Okay, this is a piece of that book page that I saved the other day. You know, I told you it was a really good texture. And so I saved the pieces that I tore off and I'm just going to put that down right there I just want this broke up just a little bit because when we start cutting this up I don't want all one color or the other and I think if we break a few of these pieces up then we won't have to worry about that let's see let me see I'm just going to glue it right there. You know, what difference does it make? Like I said, I can always go back and cover it when I start trimming this up if I don't like it. Not a biggie. I don't know if you heard that on my phone right then or not. <laughs> well, I, we just got a frost advise, advisory for our location, which is very unusual. <laughs> But, um, we did. All right. I think that's all I'm going to do to the page right now. And then later on when I cut this up, if I don't particularly like how something looks, I can add lace onto it and things like that. So I, what I would do, and I'll, I'm, I'm not going to cut one up, but I'm just going to kind of show you. Let's just pretend that this is the size that I wanted a pocket to be. Maybe... Maybe that size right there. Then I would just lay this on here and trim it out and, um, you know, trace it out and then cut my pocket out. And I could leave the rest of it attached to the book. 
or if I wanted a tag, let's just, you know, pretend this is made into a tag shape. I could lay it down here and cut my tag out. Or I could just pull this page up and just cut it into lots of different tags and pockets and things like that. And then uh, add my lace and my stitching and all of that to, to make sure that all of my pockets came out the way that I wanted them. So we've got one, two, three, four, five finished. And then, you know, what little scraps I have left, I can just continue to add them in here. And they're all in one little book like this, one little magazine. And I can just keep filling it up until I get all the way back to the back. When I need some tags and pockets, just tear out one of these pages and cut it up and we're ready to go. All right, guys, that is it on this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this, making your master boards in a magazine. Just grab an old magazine, an old journal. I'll show you one of these. I'll probably do one in this, too. This is an old chalk couture um, magazine that I've had for a long time. I don't sell chalk couture anymore. It, it just got more than I can handle with everything else going on, so... Um, I will use that and I'll make more master boards in that and so I'll have just tons and tons of master boards already made up for my journals and then all I have to do is pull this out cut it up add lace stitching different kinds of things and I have got some beautiful tags pockets journaling cards different things like that all right we will talk to you later if you like this type of video please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we will talk to you guys later thanks so much for watching bye bye